Yo, 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 it is time for some coding in Magicraft. Today I'm actually not going to be coding in Minecraft. I'm going to be coding on the Magicraft Play app. Let me turn this down a little bit. It's pretty loud where I am. 182 and mm, man my automatic thing at the bottom of the screen where it normally updates saying you know what music is playing is not working I'm not sure why let's have a look <clears throat> um okay uh, local host quadruple four dark tape is that the password Ticker base and the OBS source name. Um, yeah, okay, let's have a look. So I got these scripts here that I wrote that updates the playlist you know whatever's playing at the bottom of the screen here uh, and it uses like a grease monkey script it's called tampa monkey these days let's have a look dashboard there we go uh, remind me later okay so uh the monster cat obs connector here it is here okay monkey configs i get that config Connect. Yep, now connected. Set interval. So we await that. Okay, now connected. So I think the thing we can do is we can just go here. Console.log. Programming in the web browser. OBS. Send. Oh, I found a new. <clears throat> the new um, keyboard layout. I'll show that to you in a minute. Get source settings. Get source settings. Let's just try that and see if that does it. I don't know. what happens if we do this okay I'm gonna refresh the page so it'll probably kill the song yep it's back and then uncaught error missing request parameters okay so oh yeah you gotta await it as well so here we need to await this missing request parameters so get source settings um, send it the source name and try that this reload okay very good there it is it's a real thing source settings text okay so why is it not working play so um okay so this lets me know a couple of things one the connection between the web browser and open broadcast studio is working um the name of the source is correct and then we're just sending a set source okay it's working now i do not know what ifs? Okay, fine, we'll just leave it like that. It's okay. More from Half and Orange. Let's go back to the main page. It's a single page app, this, so you can move around on the site and the player doesn't reload. So what it's done is it's downloaded the, the website as an application into the browser and then it's just, as I click on different parts of it and moves to different parts of the website, it's pulling the data down 
from the server and hydrating the application to display it here rather than like refreshing the whole page. That's why the player doesn't disappear when I change to a different part of the site. And that's the same kind of design that I've used for the Magic Craft spellbook. What's this from Dust and Ashes? Now, new releases. No takers. There are a bunch of no takers. We can try this on, on my uh, list. Yep, let's go with it. I'll add it to the coding coding playlist. Digging it. Digging it. Yeah, I'm a fan of this guy. Oh yeah, that's good, man. That's good. Turn up my local volume a little bit. Okay, let's get on to this uh, Magic Craft spellbook. So it's running at the moment, my development version on localhost 4200. Okay, so here's the problem is, if I'm not authenticated, it redirects me to auth0 to authenticate. All good. So I then authenticate, takes me back to my app, to the callback route, and then freaks out and sends me back to Auth0. So it's stuck in this authentication loop. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. <clears throat> okay, so mm, now I'm using Ember. I'm using Ember to do this Ember.js. So there's kind of this React Angular view. And then there's like, you know, kind of in the in the those are the top three, React, Angular, View, and then you got Ember. Um, what else is in that space? I'd say Ember's number four. Yeah. Now, the reason I went with Ember is because I recently, like, you know, in the last few months, discovered this framework called Nest.js, and I'm giving a talk on it tomorrow night at uh, Brisbane JavaScript Meetup. It's a progressive Node.js framework for building efficient, reliable, and scalable server-side applications. So I built all of my backend stuff using Nest.js. Nest.js and ZB. <laughs> the open source platform designed for the future. It's got cats. I love it. Cats. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, I was talking with a developer in Tel Aviv. I interviewed him for my podcast the other day and he said uh, Nest.js plus Ember is the winning combo. So they're both very similar. They're super opinionated in their structure and their layout and they're basically all batteries included. And then he said, you know, look out for Ember Octane, which is the new next generation version of Ember. And it's kind of incrementally progressively being released. So in 3.13 of Ember, which is the latest version, you can opt into a bunch of Octane features. So I did that. So I kind of nullified some of the advantages of using like a super opinionated batteries included framework because I like opted into like the testing experimental version. So a lot of uh, things like tutorials and examples on the internet you know packages don't necessarily work with it so when I set up auth0 with ember I went with um, let's see if we can find it I reckon we will be able to find it auth0 uh, I went with this so it's called ember simple authentication ember simple auth ESA it seems to be the main way of doing auth with ember and this is one that uses Auth0, which is a, you know, Auth0 is like a, an online service that does authentication using OAuth for you, so you don't need to build it yourself. Um, so I ended up whacking this in there. But then there's this other kind of thing that's not covered in here, which is how you authenticate some routes and not others. And yeah, I've basically created a Frankenstein app with a couple of different... Uh, Tutorials. I think I used like the official Auth0, one of them, there's a bunch of Auth0s with Embers, right? Um, Ember, dude, Ember. Yeah, so there was this one here, right? And then there's this one here. So you got like your build and authenticate in Ember version 3, which is, you know, what I'm using with Octane. An Ember JS3, so I use this. I use this. 
And then I took some stuff from here as well. So it's a complete mashup. And I don't, I, I actually don't know how it works right now. Uh, yeah, okay. So learning Ember at the same time as uh, getting this thing working. So that for later. Okay, we're in an infinite loop. Let's have a look. Okay, so I think, um, okay, so it's all in app. And then you got routes and controllers. So I used like, I think the application controller. Yeah. Okay, so there's the application controller and then there's the application route. Okay, I don't know where it's getting blown away as it comes back. Let's have a look in this application controller. I'd say it's here that, I'd say here, so. I'm just gonna stick in an alert to say not authenticated. Now what alert does is it just shows like a pop-up modal dialogue and it will stop the execution of JavaScript while it's on the page. That's the meaning of modal in this sense. And um, that's good because it's doing a redirect. So we need to interrupt the redirect. We need to stop the action and that's what's gonna do it. Okay, let's attend to the sound because let's try this evil inside, sounds good. Turn to the dark side. Dirty phonics and boss fight. <laughs> boss fight. How many of these artists are influenced by gaming? This is a real gaming crossover kind of thing. Battle Cry, that sounds cool. I'll try that one next. Okay. Now, when I authenticate this time, I should, should get the alert from the controller. It's loading. It's going to activate the controller. Um, it looked like it crashed. Developer tools. Expect to see some kind of error. Yep. Network error. Create error. Okay, so here it's trying to retrieve my user data. Okay, I know how to fix that. I need to run a local copy of this particular server. So I just go here, npm, and run start dev. Should do it. <clears throat> Give it a second to start. I wonder if my Twitch chat works. Is that button there? What's this one? This one? This one? Loading the user list. Stream offline. Let me double check that. We don't want the stream to be offline. Pretty epic going track. Wet Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv. Doing a million things at once, man. Um, I go to my channel, I guess. And then I'll see myself watching myself. Lol. Yes, the thing. And then, I think the other thing I'll do, I'm gonna put this over here. Yeah, join it with that one, sure. This one we done. Is, um... Oh yeah, I was gonna make my background, um, alt super meta. I could make it, uh, completely see-through. Try that. Group webcam 2, and webcam 1. TV Nation backdrop, what happens if I do this? Oh yeah. Now it's completely see-through. Let's try that for a while. See how that rolls. Okay, back here. Let's try reloading the page. 
Okay. So that worked. Let's try logging out. Not authenticated. Yep. Sends me to here. So then we authenticate. And then it sends us back to the app. Okay. I think I know what's wrong. It re-authenticates if it can't get that user data. Let's see where it's getting that user data from. So that's in this application routes. And here, right here, env.app. That comes from dun dun dun. Battle Cry. Not available for content creator licenses. Boo! No. Cloud None and Laura Brim. Let's try her out. Um, I've heard some of her stuff. Mm, maybe with World or Conro. Easy way to find out. Let's click on here. Ah, uh, this one. Losing You by a Fixer and Laura Brim. Okay, so, um, yeah, but the page is still not loaded properly. Didn't re redirect. Okay. But. I could tell within a moment. There we go. Environment equals production, then this. In app, rest server URL. So in production, it should pull from there. Well, let's try this. Okay, so it goes to here. There's a way to stop the JavaScript execution. Um, I might add like a breakpoint in so that I can do it even when it's deployed. Pull the parameters off the route. Keep me breathing with a feeling like an alley delight. Now I'm moving through the shadows. Here we go. You woke me up tonight. I know that everything's in focus. Really? That's it? I'm saying. I just put the params on the model. Nothing else? Controller? No, that's it. Okay. So, so it will be in the application route. First of all, save this. Go to the application route. Everything will turn around. Ah. Uh. So it 
it's in the um this route here. Params, yeah. But in the router it must be in there. Yeah. And then there's also um, in routes index.ts. What happens in here? Okay, so that's how we do the, the redirect. I wonder if in the router I can put two routes then for this. If so, this is application. No, you can't do that. Um, guess I could do this. It's <laughs> a weird one. Yeah, I can do this. So I'm going to create a new route. I'm going to call it stop. Okay, we're going to go to the playlist because I don't want to have to keep jumping back and forward looking for music um, I wonder if they have like other people's playlists that you can listen to oh this is pretty cool Is it updating the music stream? Yep. Future bass. I like it. It's good. Okay, so we're going to create a new route in Ember. Okay, so M. So what we do is we go ember and is it generate? Not install. Ember. New, generate, generate. Okay, so ember generate route and then we're going to call it stop. Stop. And this is going to generate a route called stop and then what we'll do is we'll just go into the route routes stop and then we just go model so in the model method the model method returns the data for the page we're just going to go alert stop and that's all it does I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so what that does is the auto loads, right? You can ignore those errors. Okay. Um. Okay. Log out. Takes me to auth zero. I log in, takes me back to the app, and it works. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Yes. Okay. Um, let's go to that index. Rasa index.th. And here we'll just go console console.log and then here we're going to say redirecting to mm. 
And then what we need to do is this. So we're going to get an item out of the local storage, which is the Magic Craft Redirect target. And if that's null, then we'll assign welcome to that. Remove anyone that was in there. Then we'll log out that we're going to redirect to this thing, either where we're supposed to redirect to or the welcome page, and then we're going to do the transition. So let's see this thing in action. Um, log out. Log in. Okay, redirecting back to there. Okay, so I think we need to... Yeah, okay. I have to do this. Okay, this is a bit weird. So here we've got to go redirect horrible mutation equals and then we just check whether it's equal to this and if it is if it is then we'll make it equal to welcome and if it's not we'll leave it as it is okay so this should work Log out. It's pretty hacky that I'm having to hack around like this, but whatever. You know, life is about hacking. Try it out later. Maybe. 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 Yeah, I can load my spells. I can't create new spells yet. I can't save any changes. I can't delete. That's where we're up to with the spell book. Um, okay, we've got that thing to work. So I have, a, I have a sneaking suspicion that this deployed one is working against the wrong uh, web service, which is causing it to go into that loop. Okay, so what we can do here is if I have a look at my package.json, so close all. Package.json. So I build it with this command here called Ember Build Environment Production. Okay, well, let's just try that. So npm run build. Hey, right. Let's run build. Okay, it's building. It's building. It takes a little while for this build to happen. While that's happening, I might see if I can get my hands on something to drink. A can of a rock star. Still doing. Let's have a look. Still building. Well, that's doing. Let's have a look at this. Um, it's called Hellmac. Keyboard layout of the future, my friends. Designed by a um, artificial intelligence. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So Hellmac keyboard layout. So I grabbed it from here. That's the type for. I should grab the actual layout itself as well. Hellmac keyboard layout what the layout looks like it's an AI designed keyboard layout that was built with the keyboard genetics it says keyboard Gentix but it's keyboard genetics so it was like an evolutionary algorithm designed to produce the ultimate keyboard layout um, here's some of the you know QWERTY Dvorak Colmac which is I'm currently using Colmac uh, then there's Workman which is even better than Colmac and then there's Hellmac so I think I'm gonna skip Workman go straight to hell mac hell mac um
Um, hmm. Here are my thoughts on this layout, looking at this here. Um, okay, you've got all your vowels on one hand. It's the opposite hand from Dvorak, so Dvorak has all the vowels here. This layout has all the vowels over here. Um, the other thing that I like about it is, in the center here, you've got punctuation keys. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Punctuation keys here. Um... These, this is all the same. This section here is the same. So no change here, which is good. But yeah, it's going to have that Dvorak kind of alternating consonant um, vowel type thing happening. You've got all your vowels here. Anyway, it's designed by an AI, man. Let's do it. So this is my Anpro 2 keyboard with a DSA. A DSA key set on it, so I can I can change this to anything. At the moment, it's set up for um, if you see here, it's got ARST on it. Arst. That's a giveaway for Colmac. So this one's set to Colmac right now, but I'm gonna reconfigure it for Hellmac. Dude, there's no Hellmac uh, layovers. I got a Hell. I got a. I'm using this keyboard down here set up for QWERTY because it's got OEM keys on it, but it's got a Colmac layout. But yeah. I'm going to reconfigure this for Hellmac and I'm going for it. Anything that was designed by an AI using genetic algorithms, dude, how can you not be using it? What are you even doing with your life? Okay, it's built. Um, let's see if we can run it. So I think I have this package here called HTTP server and then we'll just HTTP serve dist. Right. Okay. There must be like, um, some kind of, uh, um, what port can we run it on? Okay, so A and P. Right. A is localhost. And P is going to be, um, which port we run it on, uh, 4,000, no, 4,200, okay. What? Right. Is there no index in here? Like, what happened to it? Um... That's strange. Let's go back here and have a look in the dist folder. App config dist. Yep, there's index.html. So... Well, what's in index.html? Yep, so it should load it, actually. Let's have a look. Port address, yep. Display auto index minus i. Okay. Okay, so I ran minus a minus p. Yep, dist. Serving dist. There's dist. Does have an index.html in it. Okay, well, let's try. I don't know. In HTML.
Um, more tools. The dog tools. Unrecognized URL. Strangest thing. It's kind of weird. Okay, well that's pretty cool, so... Okay. That's weird. index page by default um let's have a look so get live reload get html yep okay live reload No, let's have a look. Assets. It's all minified. This is my app. Let's see if we can find in here somewhere a reference to the correct endpoint. Yep. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah, so. Okay, let's try and hit the correct REST server. Alright! Okay, I'm just gonna upload it to the internet. Uh, yeah, install the update, whatever. Okay, so I'm using Cyberduck. This is old school, man. I'm doing like a, um, you know. FTP my files to the server kind of thing. Um, show in Finder. Just, it's pretty ghetto. I used to have this all hooked up with Jenkins and like push to branches to, you know, to deploy. These days, well, let's commit this to get anyway, so I'm definitely pushing, deploying something that's committed at least. So I'm gonna add the stop route. Cyberduck. Yes, this is a pretty cool track. Oh yeah, I added this button as well. Huh. Because I was like, oh, where is it down here? And you gotta try and find it in the list. Nope, just add the button here. So you can see I got two grease tamp monkey scripts loaded, so I got Add Monster Cat track to coding playlist and Monster Cat OBS connector. Okay, Cyberduck is up. Okay, I'm going to delete what's currently deployed. Delete. And then I go to my Finder. Hello, Finder. Yeah. 
weightlessness of my soul. Hang on. Find her. Pull this down here. And upload. Okay, it's uploading. 12 seconds left. Nine seconds left. Eight, six, four, two, one, two, one, done. Okay, um, don't set your watch by that update. Uh, okay, info. So now I gotta set them to public read. So everyone has the ability to read, and then I say always continue. And I'll do it recursively. Okay, so if we go back here, we can go to now play. Let's give it a second to finish granting access. Developer tools. Gotta go all the way to eternity. Login and okay, I did it again. So let's do this. Stop. Okay, that doesn't work. Hmm. Indication hard reload. Let's make sure that I'm getting the latest version because otherwise my browser might hold like a cached version. What? Okay. Okay, so that worked. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, I'm not at all at the source of why that's not working. It wasn't working. Let's try this. Okay, play Minecraft. Quit from that. Quit from this. Let's quit a bunch of stuff. Quit. 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 Okay, we've got Minecraft coming up. Oh, you can see it. Cool. Oh, look at that. You can also see what this side. See through there. And move this over a bit. I could either move my. I can move the camera, I think. Uh, if I move the camera, I'll end up over more. Which way? This way. No, we want to move this thing over more. How's that? Now it's on the other side. Mm, no. Still kind of a little bit here. How's that? Ah, oh, there we go. That's good. Okay. All right, so we got a multiplayer. Multiplayer, multiplayer, Maltese player. Oh, come on now. Yeah, and Magic Craft. Connect. Anything else I can close down here? I can close this. I reckon I can close this. Should close this. Yeah, close this thing. Quit. Close the ZV model, why not?
Okay. Um, like, yeah. Let's join the server. So I join the server. It tells me, hey, you're not associated with any account. Here's a link you can click to associate your account. Like, is that going to happen? Nope. Yes. There it is. So, open the chat and click the link. I click the link. I say yes. It takes me to the play app with the associate link. Then it takes me to Auth0 where I say log me in with my GitHub account. It takes me back to the play app. Yeah, authorize. Takes me back to the play app. Redirects me to the authorize endpoint that I asked for. Yes. And it worked. Okay. I don't know why it wasn't working. You successfully connected your Magic Craft account, retrieving your spells. What would be cool here is to have these different colors and to have um, like lines and stuff. Could even tell them what you connected your Magic Craft account to. And different colors because these colors are whack. It's just all white. See, this is better. Um, yep, yeah, and it's got a name there. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Okay, well, I'm calling this uh, Ember thing done for the time being. Let's try this. Open. Uh, it's called the Endpoint. Okay, thanks to the cool Peacock um, extension, different windows got different colors on my machine. Okay, so uh, endpoint workflow controller. This is where these messages get constructed. And this is using Nest.js. Okay, so it looks like sending the message, it grabs the message from the custom headers. Okay, that's why it just says like some generic thing like you've successfully connected your Magic Craft account. It doesn't have the name because the message is actually baked into the header in the uh, business process, but I have a way around that. Anyway, let's do this added spells, use spells to see them, right? Let's see where this is at. So it's added. Hmm. Here it is here. Okay, so this is the message it's going to send. Okay, cool. So what we gotta do here is we gotta figure out how to do colored messages.
Colored chat in Minecraft. Formatting codes. Color codes. Here we go. Um, okay, let's have a look here. So I know I've done it before. We'll keep this one open because we're about to get all up in this hell Mac after this. But if we go to GitHub, Magic Craft, MCT1, I know I've done it and healed the action bar. What is this place? What happened to everyone? Um. Try this. We don't need that. Quests. Prologue. Index.ts, better intro message. <laughs> okay. Um, we did it that way. Not with the codes. Okay, four many codes will persist after a color code. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. First of all, what do we want it to look like? Um, okay, so yellow and kind of red. Yeah, yellow. No, that was gold and red. Okay, so according to this, if we go like this. According to this, that should work. make that link green because it's kind of like green click me click me um associate I wonder if that's going to work. Well, there's only one way to find out about these things, isn't there? Yep, add text colors. Just the change in the workflow controller, yep. Test. Oh, you're going to do all that. This is a cool track, man. I'm adding this. I'm adding this. Hello. 
Pedro, come on. Julian Kalor, yeah, Mr. Um, Galactic. Galactic Trumpetu. Mr. Galactic Trumpet. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking this guy. He's good. Galactic Trumpet. Dream Odyssey. Where are we down here? Yeah, next up will be Slushy. Okay, uh, push those to the remote. And then I gotta jump into. Let's have a look. Not that one. This one. And then I just need to do get pull. And that should be sufficient. That should be sufficient to reload the the endpoint. Let's have a look. Yep, that reloaded it. Yes, very good, working. So we go here. Disconnect. And then reconnect. Yes! Those colors work. Okay, I should say type. Type, 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 type. Instead of use. There we go. I think the other thing I'd like to do is I'd like to have, um... Gosh, where's all my CPU going? Let's have a look. Item 2, Minecraft launcher, yeah, sure. My term two. Okay, maybe for my uh, control of my OBS thing. Whatevs. Okay, we type that now. I think also I would like to have that as a different color, like yellow. What's the formatting code for yellow? Full stack, man. All the way from Node through Minecraft to the front end, whole thing. Uh, number six for gold? No, nah, not gold, yellow, like legit yellow. E. So that should be E. And then we make that gold again. Good. Uh, let's have a look. Um, okay. This here we can actually, um, give them their Magicraft username here. By using Micro Moustache. Um, shall we do it? Why not? Why not? Okay. Um. Endpoint 2.0. Here's how we do it. First of all, we go up here. And then we npmi micro moustache. Yeah. Micro moustache. Do I see a squiggly underline here somewhere? Didn't like something I had? Here. Trailing comma, yeah, whatever. 
So Micro Moustache is like a handlebars templating kind of uh, piece of tech. Templating engine for nodes. It's pretty cool because you pass in like the template and the variables and it will place the variables in the template. So what that means is that we can put a hard-coded message in the BPMN, in the header, but with like a templated, you know, this is where you'll put the username, and then in the code, we actually insert the username with the templating engine. It's pretty cool. I use it for Slack messages, and I also use it for doing transactional emails. So in the workflow controller, These are the ZB workers that do the job. So probably here, retrieve magic craft account. Retrieving magic craft account if not associated, yeah. Must be in the user service that that happens then. The user service. Nope. It must be in the user class then. Send a message. Um. Okay. What is that message? Respawn. Um, your Magic Craft account is connected. Where does that come from? Okay. Right, in here. Okay, so Okay, so the task type is send message. So where we want to use this uh, thing then is if we have a look in here for send message task. Right here. So the message, we get the message, right? And then what we do is this is real simple how you do this, so good. So first of all, we're going to import star from micro moustache as micro moustache. Micro moustache. Very good, very good. Good. So we go down to the send message, right? And then all we do is we go... Const msg equals micro moustache render compile no, render 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 yeah template and and then scope so you just go um message. And then pass the variables in, right? Okay, and then we send the rendered message. So we should call this rendered message, actually. So it'll be called rendered, uh, rendered message. Good. So now, all we need to do is we go in here. Um, you know, cause you can see through me. I try, but never go far enough. I do anything to have you back 
You can edit these like in the graphical editor, but this is just gonna be so much easier. That's Magic Craft username. Yes. Um, okay. XML. Okay, well that's cool. So save that. I don't know, I reckon it should work. Let's see. Um, I think we can just get rid of this. Delete the So add micro massage. So now we need to do get pull and it's taking its time. And push that to the remote. <laughs> get pull. Get pull. And then npm install. You get micro moustache in there. One, two, three, docker logs. Cannot find module micro massage. For real. I don't, I don't, I don't need you. Uh, cat package, Jason. And then do grip micro. Rails. Okay, hang on, let's do a get pull. Get pull. Already up to date. So let's go down to package.json. Por eso. Uh, CD into endpoint. Yeah. Now do npm i. Cold turkey on the Hellmac, man. I'm doing it today. Why not? Docker logs, let's see if that container is restarted properly. Yep. Okay, so according to my calculations, yep, your Magic Crafts account JWolf was connected. Bonza need to make this a peaceful world, man. To waste this guy. Oh, yeah? Waste him. Nailed him. Monster Hunter. 
Yep, that's what I am. Monster Hunter. Um, okay, so if I now go D associate oh, hang on, look at these. Add 106 spells. Yep. Good. So D associate. Ding! Remove the 150 spells. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm liking it. Yes. You have successfully connected your Magic Craft account, Jay Wall. Congratulations, you've associated your Minecraft, your account with the Minecraft username C to Party. Bonza winning. Winning. Oh yeah, this is a good track. Just the right track for this time, man. Finally things are going my way. Good. I'll tell you what, man grind through like lots of bugs and it's not working and it's real complex and there's lots of layers to the whole thing and it can get real uh, demotivating man yeah it can so when that happens let's take a break go to sleep maybe go outside walk around and then come back again and keep going sehr good very cool yeah i've had some real issues with the whole zb setup as well with dog fooding come on to cloud and um Driving that thing forward to excellence. Thank you. Yes, I've got this. Rockstar, the official drink of the channel. So, man, I'm doing some real wizardry with the uh, ZB cluster and Kubernetes. Okay, I'm gonna run around here a little bit and try some stuff. Speaking of going turbo. Yes, nailed him. Keep the high ground. Can this be a good place to spend the night up here? It is getting on to the evening. I need some arrows. What happened? That's not what I wanted to do. I want to give myself arrows. Um. Okay, good. That's what I wanted. I'm gonna use this to survive the night. Um. Actually, you know what's gonna be kick ass? Oh, I can't edit my spells. Bummer. I need to get that working because then I could do this. Ha ha. Night vision. <laughs> Pretty kick ass, man. <laughs> I reckon with 64 arrows and night vision, I'm going to do pretty good overnight. Up in this tree. No mercy. Okay, my back is protected, so I'm really attackable only on that 
on two sides because they've got the water here. Okay, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him, I see him. Where is he? Where is he? Where'd that spider go? Uh, 10,000 was, hey look, I can see things in the water. What are they? Dolphins or something? See if I can get a fish from here. No. Nah. Luckily, that spider can't climb the tree. It's getting pretty. It's in, the, in the nighttime now. Death's in the nighttime. Okay, well. Surviving the nighttime thing is not too difficult. Stay up in a tree. Got my night vision happening. Got a bow and an arrow. It's pretty easy actually. I was hoping I was gonna fight off a zombie horde, but no. I can actually shoot a zombie. Whoops. That's right, he's got no AI. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay, two. Took two shots to kill him with a normal bow. Last week I turned off the zombie AI for the zombies that came out. And you can't hit its spells in Magic Drive right now. I'm gonna fix that today. We'll make a start on it. Come on, man. I wanna white face this thing. Yes! Nailed him. He did come after me and he's trying to get up the tree as well. It's not quite the zombie apocalypse I was anticipating. Not the zombie apocalypse we were promised. I wonder if I can shoot these fish in the water. Yes! 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 I got him from here. Amazing. That's what the night vision does for you. up there somehow yep okay all right time to go fishing is that a fish i think that's a fish on the surface after i nailed him looks like dawn is on its way Here's another way of fishing, I could do this. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. I think I blew myself up. Mm, yep. Um, okay. In B. Dink. Okay, good. And then, um, give... I need to give myself a bow, man. Bow? 64 bows. Okay, yeah, that's quite a lot of bows. Uh, but really what I need is arrows. Good. Okay, let's do it on foot. Where are the bad guys at?
<laughs> Octopus. Come on, man. I gotta be able to nail one of these octopuses from here. All I see to fight is a world that's mine. Wham! Yes, got him. Senseless slaughter of animals. I'm not even gonna eat them. I'm just wasting them, killing them. Um, Mrigari, the enemy of the animals. He just went around shooting animals and he would leave them half dead, actually. Wouldn't even kill them. Leave them suffering. And looky here, headshot. Okay, here comes a zombie. That's what I'm actually after. This is what I'm after. The zombie apocalypse. Headshot. The one true stopper. I'm gonna grab that. That's the goodies. Okay. But why not more zombies? A little bit disappointed in this. Expecting like a massive zombie apocalypse overnight. But no. Okay, so the ability to be able to cast my spells would be good. I mean, that night vision spell is very useful for the night times for survival. Oh, yeah. I actually wouldn't want to try to do that at night without it. It would be pretty difficult. Yeah, you could go and create some pretty cool environments in here. Epic. Doesn't need much... Um, Boom! Oh yeah, I can pick up my arrows after I've used them, that's good. Stone Age, whatever that is. Okay, maximum power, bam! Lamb chop time. Dun, dun, dun. Won't you come over? I mean, in real life, I'm a vegetarian and I don't eat animals, but in Minecraft, man, I'm a brutal murderer. Dun, dun. If it moves, shoot it. Feel like your future's just begun. Uh, uh, uh. Doesn't mean that in real life I'm gonna go out with a bow and arrow and shoot horses. Uh -huh. I would if I had to, but actually I don't need to. Because I can go to the supermarket and get some yogurt. Uh, uh. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Um, it's daytime, let's make it nighttime. See if we can get a uh, ting. Night vision too. Get some more arrows. What happens if I do that again? Okay, yeah, I got tons of arrows now. Good. Time to go on a killing spree. Dude, I'm fully woke. Haha, <laughs> I'm awake during the night. Wham! Come on, man. This guy's freaking out. Resistance is futile. Okay, where the zombies at? Where the zombies at? Okay, full power. Bam. Again. Yes. Dude, this needs more knockback power. Don't do it like a 45 or something. 50 caliber magnum. Like a desert eagle. Oh man. Nighttime's not really the zombie apocalypse we hoped for. Okay, so if I want to make it possible to edit your spells in Magic Craft, I've got to do some modifications to that editor. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, one that shoots back even. Oh, and two of those, okay. Dude, okay, now we're... Oh, now you're talking. Dude, there were two spiders and a zombie with skeleton. Okay. Um, okay. We'll hide away when no one knows. 
Let's try that again, buddy. Let's try that again. Where's he at? Need to increase my armor class. Uh, two. Max power, boom, straight to the face. And headshot. Okay, four arrows I used up there. I lost them. Uh, where's that skeleton guy? Here he is. Oh, I dream just to be in a world I can see. Bam! Headshot. Uh, used up a lot of arrows then. What happens if I eat this rotten flesh? Does that make me better? Oh, dude, someone's shooting me. Okay, yeah, I gotta beat on him. I gotta beat on him. I oh, shot me through the trees. Suck. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's get on to coding this thing up, eh? Um. Okay, before I go any further, is there anything about um, the connection messages that I could make better? Let's have a look. Let's go time day for starters. Deassociate. And we just do one more test. So what we do is we log out from the Play app. Log out. Boom. Fully locked out, dude. Okay, once we're logged out. Hang on, what? That was weird. Deassociate, right? Removed 150 spells. Your magic craft account has been disconnected from this Minecraft user. Open the chat and click the link. What? Okay, hang on. Something's not right here. How'd that happen? I didn't click the link. The association is not working properly. That's the only explanation for that. Deassociate. Um, deassociate, deassociate, deassociating, deassociated. It's been disconnected. And then the next time it checks. It says it's associated. Okay, so that is running on that other service. Okay, mm, are we going for time? It's 2.30. I'm going to take a break and uh, then I'm going to come back and fix this problem and then start working on the editor. But that's all the streaming that I'm uh, going to do on it for now. Um, will I come back and stream? Yeah, I'll come back and stream um, working on the editor maybe in about 30 minutes.